Okay, I'm going to take you through at a high level how to set up and organize your items list. There are so many fields in QuickBooks that we can use to get data out of, right? And as long as there's data in that field, we can find ways to report on it. However, if you're not used to knowing all of the fields that are available in QuickBooks, right? This is just a way to think about, to consider how to set up your items. If you need help, call. <laughs> okay, so when we're dealing with item setup, it's always what is our end goal. I need to know profitability. I need to know quantity on hand. I need to know sales numbers, right? That's our end goal. What, what do we want? What do we, what output do we need? Okay. So when we set up different items in the beginning, you can see here, I have set up all my items as being flat up top, right? So all headers, no subs. Okay. Down below here though, I went into some subs. If you are unsure in the beginning, again, you want to be as detailed as possible. Because the more detailed you are, the easier it is, you know, it, you can change your mind in the future. I don't need it at this level of detail. You can always roll it up and merge accounts together. If you need more detail, though, than what you've started with, you're going to have to go back and edit all of the transactions to make them have more detail. So I always say when you're setting up your items, be more detailed than you think you need even um, because we can always correct it in the future if we need to merge things down. All right, so what do I mean? So we had the video just above this about header and sub accounts. So items have the same thing, header and sub accounts. This is pool covers. This is a header. I have Joe's pool covers versus Mike's pool covers. That's my sub level one. Under Joe's pool covers, I have blue pool covers versus green pool covers. That's my sub level two. Then I have under blue pool covers, I've got dark blue and aqua, right? Sub level three. And then I actually have the ability to go down another level. So five levels down, you have the ability to do that. Okay. Why do we do it at each of these levels? At each of these levels, we have the opportunity to roll things up. So when I go and look at a report for, let's just say a sales by item summary report for all time, right? I have pool covers which I can roll up just to see pool covers as a whole. I can expand that and say, I just want to see Joe's versus Mike's pool covers. Okay. I can expand Joe and say, I want to just see blue versus green, or I want to see all details, right? And it takes me down to the lowest level. So it's purely for reporting. Okay. Again, why we would want to have it at this level is I don't know, right? If I go in and say I've I have 31 blue pool covers, it doesn't tell me how many I need to order, right? Of the individual of the aqua or the dark blue. So if you need to know at the aqua or the dark blue level, you want to set those up as subs. If you just care how many blue pool covers do I have, you don't need to set up those additional subs. Okay. All right. So again, we want to do it in as much detail as possible in the beginning, because if it turns out, you know, I don't, you know, aqua versus dark blue, it doesn't matter. The clients never know whatever it is, right? So I can go in and say, after the fact, I've now realized that I don't care about this lowest level that I have. I just care about blue versus green. So how can I fix that? I can go in here and I edit the item. This is how I do it. I edit the item and I copy the item name because I want it to be exact, right? I've got an apostrophe in there. Is there a period? I don't know. You know, I want it to be exact. Then I want to make sure that my items list is in its original order. So I'm going to go in and resort my list. All right, now it's in its original order. And I can also tell that it is because I don't have a little diamond up here in the corner. So I'm going to take this item that I don't need this sub anymore and I'm going to drag it so that it's at the same level as my blue PCs. Then I'm going to edit the item, paste blue PCs in there and QuickBooks will ask me and it'll say, hey, this item name is already used. Do you want to merge them? And I can say yes. OK, 
Okay, it gives you the warning it's not a good idea because it does update financials, right? If we're talking about inventory parts, inventory has an average cost. So if the dark blue pool covers cost more than the aqua pool covers when I merge them together now, it's going to mess with my uh, cost of goods sold a little bit, right? So you definitely want to have the conversation before we do these things. But again, it's possible. So I'm going to drag this guy over as well, change it to say blue PCs, okay, merges them together. Right. Then I'm going to go in and take green PCs, drag this guy over, paste it, OK, merges them together. So now all of those details got pushed into now that all the, you know, dark blue aqua are now part of blue PCs. And when I go look at my sales by item summary, that's the, the lowest level that I have set up. Okay, because I didn't care. I just want to know I have 31 on hand and what are my sales transactions amount for those 30. I'm sorry, I've sold 31 and what are my sales transactions for blue PCs. So you want to use the items list to really track. So quantity on hand, obviously most important. If you have different part numbers, obviously you need to have different items set up for those. Okay, there are ways in QuickBooks if we're trying to track blue versus green, what did we sell? In QuickBooks, you can go in and edit the item and add custom fields, right? So I can add custom fields in here. And that custom field can be added to your sales transaction so that when you sell a pool cover, as an example, you can choose blue or green. And in Enterprise now, you have the ability to go in and filter reports by those custom fields. So if I wanted to see a inventory stock status by item report, as an example, I can customize it and filter it and say, show me for color blue, right, how many I have received, okay, or how many I've sold, all right, and that's Enterprise only. But again, that's what to consider when you're organizing or setting up your chart of accounts. Be as detailed as possible in the beginning. We can always merge them together after the fact and call if you have questions because this is this is what you know we do. We help you to decide how is best to set things up in QuickBooks so that you can get that output that you really need.